All right, hello everyone. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna be doing uh, an unboxing and an un opening of uh, my new Blundstone boots. Just picked them up yesterday, November first. Got the month right. And uh, yeah, surprisingly, I don't wear boots. So a lot of people ask me, "Haven't you had a pair yet?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, uh, I got boots right there that have been in my house for three years. I'm not really a boot guy, but that's probably gonna change because I don't know. It's just gotta change." So here's my Blundstone boots, and what do I get? I got the 069, I believe. The 069, and that's this guy right here. Okay, and that is the chiseled toe dress. So basically I wanted them for everything. I'm going to be taking them to work. I'm going to be taking them. I won't be going to weddings with them. I got other stuff for that. But to go to work and uh, walk through the snow and stuff like that. That's basically why I thought, hey, you know what? Let's do an unboxing here because I think a lot of people do complain about their shoes, that they're not um, waterproof enough or uh, they're not hot enough. And um, yeah, in Canada, minus 15, minus 20 is, un is not uncommon. And slushy weather with the snow melting and raining and whatever. You know what I mean? And um, I hate it personally. And um, so yeah, these are my boots. These are my beautiful boots. So these ones, uh, I believe there was ones that were a little bit more pointy, uh, if I remember correctly. Those were probably, uh, yeah, I am going to pick up a brown pair actually too, probably in a, another two weeks. So these were the, these are my shoes, okay, my boots, Blundstones from Australia. Oh, I didn't know that, you got to put these in. They keep bragging about these things, that's good. And then, uh, yeah, wherever life takes you. And that's it, and uh, you know, I play hard, and I move a lot, and I need something to be comfortable. I don't care about, oh man, why don't you wear these boots? Shoes, whatever, if they're not comfortable, I don't wear them, man. I just don't care how they look. I need comfort first. And I was told that these guys are very comfortable, and actually when I wore them in the, at the shoe store there on Queen Street, the Australian shoe store there. It's a really nice store, actually. Um, uh, they were really, really comfortable, okay? And, um, yeah, so what do I gotta do? I gotta put these things in, so I'll just put these things in. Do I gotta, like, I'm gonna put them in like that now. little bit of a process here, eh? But I think it's going to be worth it because uh, I don't impress easy, but I must say that wearing them in the store for like five minutes, they were really, really comfortable. And I'm looking forward to actually just wearing these and uh, just being able to move wherever I want as opposed to, is it cold? Is it raining? Is it slushy? You know what I mean? I really don't want to care about stuff like that. It has nothing to do with money and everything to do with comfort. Do you know what I mean? I just want to be comfortable. At, uh, I've always wanted to be comfortable and I always try to be as much as I can and I try to buy quality as much as I can too. That's another story because uh, it seems like no matter what I buy and how much I spend, something always goes wrong. It might be my luck or whatever, you know, but I have a suspicion that these boots are going to really do me well. So the reason I'm making this video is a to document uh, my winter. So it's uh, November 2nd today actually here in Canada and uh, actually we had a bit of snow yesterday, just a light touch of snow and uh, Snow's on the way, snow's on the way, and it's actually cold. I mean, right now, I think it's minus degrees right now, <laughs> okay? I think yesterday afternoon was definitely minus, okay? Downtown was freezing, okay? So, um, yeah, so the reason for this video is to document uh, my winter journey with these guys. Should have done my hair before this? I really don't care, man. I just want to put these on and get out of the house, so I figured I might as well just make a video before I wear them. 
before I get out. So that's the whole thing. I'm going to be documenting these and if you have any questions, I'll probably make videos of these two in the snow uh, too. Okay, let me just see. Uh, supposed to see here, supposed to... Okay guys, these are brand new boots. Oh, they haven't even been worked in yet. Okay, so you go in there. Apparently, you grab this guy with knowing my luck, I'll probably rip it off. Well, this company's been around for what? Over 100 years, so that's good. Ooh, oh, 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 man. That feels good, boy. That feels really good. Okay, so, again, guys, if this thing, if these Blundstone boots can uh, survive Canadian winters, and what, the Australian boot company has been around for what, over 25 years? I'm sure they've been selling to us Canadians. I'm telling you, man, our weathers are harsh with salt and snow and slush and rain and cold weather. I mean, cars, cars and boots and clothes don't last long here because the salt destroys everything. Everything is heavy duty use. Okay, I'm not joking, right? These things are super, super comfortable. Like I can actually do yoga with these things right now if I wanted to, you know what I mean? Like. These things are like, oof. yeah, take a look at those. These are nice, man. These are actually really, <clears throat> look at those. So nice cut there. Really, really, really comfortable, man. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons. I don't even care. I'm actually gonna go back and get the brown ones. I don't care how much they cost. I would have paid anything for these. I have no idea why. Well, so these are the Blundstone 069, 068. That's the 068, okay? And if any of you guys are in Toronto, go check out the Australian Boot Company. They're great. Everybody in there was great. I mean, uh, yeah, in terms of customer service in Toronto and uh, whatever I can't, I can tell you these guys were awesome, okay? And uh, uh, the service was good and they told me to come back after winter. So they're pre-treated, so I don't have to do anything with them, which is good because I don't like chemicals in my house. I don't like touching that stuff. But they told me that uh, after winter, bring the boots in and they'll clean them up, dress them up, uh, put whatever they put on them again and make sure they're good for the winter after that, which, is, uh, which was really reassuring because A, Again, I don't like chemicals in the house. I don't like using chemicals. I don't like being near them. So if I can get somebody else to do them, I don't care. I would pay them, but apparently I get it in the price, I guess. So yeah, so check those out. Man. Yeah, this is what I want. I want boots that I can do anything in. I don't want to be limited and say, oh my god, man, I can't uh, bend over, I can't walk, I can't be in those boots all day. Um, you know, can't wear my boots with this, can't take my boots there. That's not what I want. When I go to the museum, when I go to work, when I go to the gym, when I go shopping, you know what I mean? I just want to slide things in and get out. But winter time is, win winter time is different here because it's... Uh, well, first of all, it's minus 20 on average, okay? It's minus 20 on average, and uh, 
it's slushy, it's cold, there's snow up to here, man. Okay, and you gotta walk through that, okay? So, can these bloodstones take it? I'm pretty sure they can. And I probably do it with pleasure too because they're really, really comfortable. I'm looking forward to using these. I can't say, I can't say, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to minus 20 degrees weather in the snow. I can't believe I'm actually thinking, hey man, I'm, can't, I'm looking forward to this so I can try my boots. I don't know, maybe I'm going to enjoy it. Maybe, I'm, I don't know. So, let's go. Oh. So, that's basically, uh, see? And we got in here. So I think there's a big warranty in here too. Blundstone since 1870. What do we got? Okay. We've been shaping the remote and wild island, home of Tasmania, place of rugged natural beauty where comfort and durability are essential. Yeah, I wish I was there, Australia. No snow, no nothing. I'd be beautiful right now. But yeah, I mean, I'd probably wear these at night somewhere nice and hot, like Australia or, you know, somewhere in the Mediterranean, nice and hot. These would be okay in the nighttime. So. That's it guys, that's all I got. And uh, so these are the Blundstone 068, but I'm sure they got uh, a lot of different models, especially for females. I thought they had more selection for females than males. It might have been just the way my eyes were looking on the other side. But uh, they were really, really comfortable. And uh, how are you supposed to take these off? Oh yeah, so I'll do one standing. So that came out easy. I mean, let's just say you're, uh, let's just say you're going to uh, a facility where they actually want you to take your boots off, which isn't too uncommon in Toronto because they can't let everybody walk in with boots and bring their snow and slush and salt all over the building or whatever it is, right? Let's just say, right? So, uh, yeah, if you're going to a dojo, obviously you gotta bring, sh shut your shoes off at the spot. That's, that's a given. Uh, but there's some places, a lot of places, where you'll be required to take your outerwear off in the winter because the snow, the slush, the salt, yeah, who wants that all over the building? So these guys here are really comfortable. So I'm going to do one here kneeling. So, you know what, while I'm kneeling, don't forget guys, these just came out of the box, eh? I haven't even put these on, these are like, I don't even think these are, I don't even think these are the pair that I wore in the store. So, basically I'm supposed to put these in there, I'm supposed to grab this wire here, this uh, little strap, okay, probably being a little bit too delicate than I have to be, okay. On. Okay, let's do these ones. So I'll just put these on like that. Okay, got that on camera. Okay, so the way they said, just grab those on. But anyway, I'll just grab them both. Whatever, who cares, man? There you are. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm wearing these today right now actually. That's why I said let's make a video while I can document this. So, Blundstone boots, really beautiful, really. I can't even tell you guys how comfortable they are. I, I just can't really. I can't really tell you how comfortable they are. They're just really, really, really comfortable. Okay, so that's uh, these guys. Guys, if you're in Toronto, support these guys. They're uh, really beautiful people. They've been in business for uh, over two decades. They got two stores in Toronto and I believe uh, something in uh, Vancouver. Yeah, they do. So they got uh, two, one on Queen Street there, one I, I believe it's like, uh, Mostly Queen and uh, 
Bathurst area, maybe a little bit closer, okay? Uh, nice part of town, you can just go grab uh, a nice coffee somewhere, okay? The west side of uh, Queen Street. And then uh, Young and Lawrence area too, if you're up in that area, okay? Support these guys, Australian Boot Company. And uh, they'll take care of you while you're buying them and after you're buying them. And that's one of the things that I love because I just can't, I just can't deal with these things where uh, I gotta do things myself. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I'm not a leather guy, I'm not a coke guy, I'm not a full stirrer. Okay, I want you guys to take care of it. You know, just like when my hairdresser says, when I'm at my hairdresser, you take care of it, don't ask me. Just make me look good, that's it. And uh, these boots are making me look good and they're making me feel good. So I don't really care about money. It's money well worth, well spent, okay? I don't have to worry about water leaking in and ruining my clothes. I don't have to worry about not being comfortable. I don't have to worry about ruining my back because I was in uncomfortable shoes all day or being uncomfortable somewhere. Imagine being standing somewhere really important at a museum at work, at a meeting event, and you're in pain because you're shoes, your boots, suck. That's not what I want, man. I want to be comfortable 24-7, and uh, that's why I made these, uh, some people say it's a large investment, I don't really think they are. I bought them for uh, $259, $260, okay, and uh, yeah, $259. That's the price. So, uh, I don't think they're expensive at all. All right, guys, if you have any questions about these, uh, I'm gonna be doing some videos in these in the snow, in the, in the minus weather. And uh, yeah, I like people to actually spend money wisely and use their time wisely. So for me, shopping every year for boots, like low class boots that a weren't doing what they were intended to do it's supposed to be waterproof but they're not and water seeping in and you're now sick and you got the flu and you got to take days off work days off school and you feel horrible you got to buy new shoes next year which is bad for the environment which makes you waste time because i just don't want to go shopping all the time i just get me something that works, you know what I mean? Get me something that lasts. So that's one thing that I always try to do and help people out when making, obviously health and fitness uh, decisions, but obviously anything else too that I can help you with. And clothes today are, yeah, don't get me started because I got a problem right now too, so I'm not gonna go there. So I know these guys are not going to give me a problem. That's why I'm really, really happy, okay? Everywhere life takes me. And I have a really busy life and I have a hectic life. And I'm on the go, 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 moving around. And I don't like to, you know, be so delicate sometimes. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, these boots are going to really, well, I'm hoping... I really don't have any doubts, okay? So if you guys have any questions, put them down. And uh, yeah, so we'll make this uh, the Bluntstone series, the Bluntstone boot series, where I'll take you guys through the Canadian winter. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I'll take you guys through the Canadian winter. Uh, high slush, high slush, high rain, high snow, low temperatures. And then you'll say, yeah man, those boots can take that. Sign me up, where can I go? And that's where you guys can go. Australian Boot Company here in Toronto, Vancouver, uh, and wherever else you live in the world. Just, okay, let's document this and let's make sure everybody is comfortable, happy, can do what they want, and long-term spend less money because uh, they told me these boots might even last me like, well, they said even 20 years they've lasted, but, uh, Actually, the two salespeople I was talking to said that no matter what, you probably get 12 years out of them and you'll probably throw them out because, you know, hey, let's just get a new pair. 
that's kind of good to hear. Okay, so guys, let's uh, let's get out of here. I gotta go out. Okay, and you probably gotta go get some new blunt stones. 068. All right, Coach Tannis out with the fashion update. Okay, feel so comfortable. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. All right. Mm-hmm.